Hi, I'm Casey and I'm James and we are experts on all things UK and this is UK slang terms you need to know before moving to the UK. But before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, ring the bell icon to be notified every time we post a new video. Now on to the video. Mugged off, kip, gander. What do all of these words mean? They are slang terms. Terms used in a geographical location, in this case, the UK. And these terms are mostly used and understood just by the natives. So in today's episode, let's learn some slang terms. Slang term number one, mugged off. Getting mugged off is a little bit like getting pied off, except a little less embarrassing. So for example, I might say, you know, I felt really disrespected earlier. I think I've been mugged off. Slang term number two, kip. A kip is a snooze or a very quick nap. So last night, I had a quick kip. I was on the sofa, I was a bit tired, so I took a quick kip. Slang term number three, gander. To have a gander is to have a look around. So you might say to someone, if you're on a holiday or if you're out and about, you might say, you know what, this shop looks good, I might have a quick gander. Slang term number four, a personal favorite of mine, knackered. The word is often used in friendly circles to mean exhausted. So right now, I'm quite tired. I'm not quite knackered. So I might say, for example, you know what, I've had a really long day at work. I'm absolutely knackered. Slang term number five, minging. This is a lovelier sounding word that describes something gross or disgusting. So for example, you know all that food I had last night was absolutely minging. Another popular slang term is hunky-dory. Hunky-dory is a fun little piece of slang that means a situation is cool, okay, or normal. So for example, you might say, yeah, I met some people last night for a night out, never met them before, but it was all pretty hunky-dory. Right, for the last two, let's switch it up a little bit. Telling porkies is to tell lies. So for example, your boss could say to you, have you done your work? And you could be like, yeah, I've done it, but you haven't, you're lying, so you're telling porkies. Another personal favorite British slang is proper naughty. Proper naughty is usually in description of something that feels cheeky, it feels like you shouldn't do it, but you can, and it feels proper naughty. So right now, I could be like, right guys, we could cook, but we could go out for a meal instead and it'd be proper naughty. We'll go for a Nando's, it's proper naughty. And that's it, that's eight UK slang terms you need to know before coming to the UK. Hunky Dory is such a cute word. It is my favorite. Go ahead and tell us which words you liked down in the comments. So, thanks for watching. I'm James and this is Casey signing off. Until next time. Toodaloo. Next week on things you need to know before coming to the UK. Three movies you absolutely need to watch before coming to the UK.